Bullshit. It's the No Bullshit Marketing Show. I'm Dave Mastovich. Zoom's sales forecast didn't hit projections in the last quarter. And there's concern that maybe it won't in future quarters because of our return to work with more and more of employees returning back to the office either in a hybrid way or some even full-time in person. This concern, I'm not completely sure should be that significant. I do believe Zoom might see some decline in new purchases or maybe some people might actually cancel and the volume might go down a little bit. But I think we're going to still be doing a lot on Zoom because it's rare we're going to have everybody in the office because of hybrid, but also because of the new mentality that it doesn't matter if someone is in Long Beach, California, or Pittsburgh, like Mass Solutions has done for a long time. Now more and more people are comfortable with that, with their full-time people, their part-time people, their strategic partners. So I'm not completely sure that it's going to be a big decline. But I also wanted to mention that there's this competitor now, and I saw an article entitled, Meet Your 3D Boss, and it's about a company called Portal, P-O-R-T-L, which decided to go beyond Zoom and use holograms. So I can remember the Tupac hologram, and I was like, whoa, this would make your boss be the hologram. And it's this booth that the boss is in that booth, and then when we see that person, she would be looking like herself, but would be a hologram. Now, there's a couple of challenges when early technology always costs more. These booths are $65,000. So you're not going to see many small and mid-sized businesses do that for a long time. The second thing is there's some concerns about the quality and, and the need for it. But just keep it in mind that there's a possibility to go beyond Zoom. Regardless of whether it's that new hologram technology, a Zoom call, a telephone call, a text, an email, or an in-person meeting, there are still some major tenets of successful communication, especially amongst teams. The first is the person who is running that meeting or handling that conversation, that dialogue, needs to clearly define what they want the one takeaway to be of that meeting. What's the one major takeaway? This is probably the biggest problem with internal communication, what we call B2E, business to employee storytelling and business to employee communication. Why is that the problem? Because whoever is leading the meeting often wants to get so much crammed into the meeting and by thinking that they're doing more, they achieve less. Have you been there? When you come to a meeting that just seems to go on and on, or worse, it's a meeting that doesn't have a formal plan. It doesn't have an agenda. And so we aren't clear what that major objective is. So the first thing with any internal communication on Zoom as a hologram or in person is to define the major theme, the major takeaway that you want everyone in that room to have. There has to be something that you want them to take away and then provide supporting storytelling pillars that are also memorable, but reinforce that major takeaway and have an agenda. But there's a second piece that's the major successful communication tenet, and that is to understand the audience. Sounds like common sense. Come on, Dave, how can you say that I don't understand the audience? I say that because I witness it on a daily basis with clients when we come in to help them with B2E storytelling, B2E communication, walking through how things are done internally. And the reality is most of us don't treat employees and employee communication and employee storytelling the same way we treat storytelling to other target audiences like our customers, our board of directors, our referral sources, our centers of influence. So that second point is look at that target audience and think about how they're going to respond. Think about what they're coming into that meeting 
with what's in it for me. Think about that. Look at them with variables. You might look at departments that they're from. You might look at titles. You might look at age. You might look at background, experience. And you don't have to spend weeks and months. I'm saying think this through briefly during your pre-call or pre-meeting prep so that you've thought more about the target audience. When you do those two things, number one, have one key takeaway that's clear that you want to achieve for everyone that comes to that meeting, that Zoom call, that in-person meeting, that telephone call. One major takeaway and some supporting storytelling pillars that are also memorable. Then the second point is think about the audience more. Treat them like you do your customer audiences. Understand them. Look at them. Build messaging for the group. When you do that, you'll be ready to jump to the hologram. And either way, regardless of medium, you will have stronger, more effective communication internally. Thanks for listening to another episode of the No Bullshit Marketing Show, recorded here in Mass Solutions Studio in bold, beautiful downtown Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Remember, ask yourself, what's the big idea? And build your story around the answer. It's all about bold solutions, no BS.